two Greece, and we're making uh, a, a version of one of my favorite soups growing up, going to Greek town in Chicago. If you've ever had like the lemon egg soup, over limono, it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, this I has got that. all those similar flavors, but in casserole form, I am using orzo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my sauce is based, Jeffrey, if you can hand it to me. I got some chicken stock and some fresh lemon right there. And my protein is gonna be chicken, and then of course my starch will be orzo. So let's make the sauce. So we're pouring a couple cups of good chicken stock in here, low sodium. Uh, the zest and juice from a couple lemons, right? Because that you want that strong you need, lemony you flavor. Need that. A little cornstarch to kind of help thicken it up there in the oven when it fit, you know, when it, when it cooks. Beautiful. So now we got a little fresh garlic in there. Another uh, traditional flavor of that, uh, you know, Greek style lemon soup. A little fresh dill. Oh yeah! Love wow, it's gonna be banana. And to bump up the fat in here, just a little bit of melted butter. We're just Not gonna whisk this together. We got our sauce. It was it was that easy, right? A lot of stuff we already have in the house. Of course, a little salt and pepper. So let me get my starch here, which is that orzo. If you don't mind, right? And this this cooks a lot quicker than rice a lot of times. It's it's actually not a grain, it's a pasta. So you want to make sure you don't overcook it. It can get mushy. We're just gonna put it all on the bottom there. We got this beautifully seasoned sauce in here. We're just gonna pour that directly on there. All right, and all kind of settle. No need to get too crazy with trying to get in there even. Just give it one little stir. Which we're just using four whole chicken breast, about two pounds. And we're gonna season this with a little coriander, some black pepper, and some salt. We're gonna mix that up and just hit every side of that chicken with it. Coriander is so under underutilized, man. It's just so floral and green. It really is. All we're just gonna nestle it right in there. It's right gonna there. be good, Jeff. Oh. Jeff, it's gonna be good. It's gonna really look nice too. Mm -hmm. Great presentation. Cause I see those lemon slices. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do with these lemon slices? Yep. We're gonna kind of shingle these in here. And it's good to go in the oven, 375 for about 35 minutes. All right, a little bit of fresh yeah. parsley on top there. Maybe a little lemon on the side if you want to squeeze some extra lemon. That looks so pretty, Jeff. Classy, and you can Jeff. obviously, this is perfect for a family of four, but if you want to like kind of cut it. This is a classy casserole. And you'll see it's got the creaminess of that soup without the egg in there, right? What's wrong with eggs? No, nothing. I'm just like, we didn't have to start cooking eggs in it. Oh, I see. It's gotta be it was simple. Beautiful. Is that for me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm. like, I have a knife. Mmm. Mmm. Right? It smells oh. lemony. That's bright. Mmm. Lemon orzo, perfect, on point. Mm. Exceptionally cooked, and also it made, if you see this, it just made its own sauce. Mm -hmm. It's like perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Really delicious.